an update on a Target 12 investigation on a years-long repair project to one of the state's newest bridges. The final barriers have been removed from the Iway Bridge, officially ending construction. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in studio with an update to the investigation, new at 530. Well, Mike Kelly, those Jersey barriers have been there for years at a cost to taxpayers. So now that construction's done, we wanted to know what's the bill and who's paying. We drove the 195 highway bridge just like many of you have since Sunday and noticed the barriers are gone. Is construction over? Yes. Target 12 first alerted you to the bridge's railing problem in 2013. A letter from RIDOT we obtained says steel reinforcement bars were apparently cut during installation. While waiting for a permanent fix, Jersey barriers were set up and on Sunday, were removed. The bridge is safe at this the, point. The bridge is safe and, and really I'm glad you said that because that is a paramount concern from day one on this. RIDOT's director Peter Alvidi says now the state is in a claims process with the contractor Cardi over who should pay for what. The state paid at least $170,000 to rent the barriers. It was our position that the contractor should be held responsible to go back out and give us a bridge back in the condition that we originally paid for it. Cardi spent an unknown amount to repair the railings, but told us they did the work under protest and believe the state should pay. That's because they say RIDOT field representatives approved the changes. Very cooperative. Alvidi says RIDOT has made huge organizational changes that require more checks and balances so that if changes happen to a project in the future, the right people approve it first. And that'll prevent this kind of thing from happening in the future. Alvidi told me the final cost of all of the work still needs to be finalized. He said the issue will likely head to a claims committee. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.